Assembly modeling with Autodesk Fusion 360 allows users to model with the techniques they're most comfortable with. And it ushers in new assembly modeling techniques that will reduce the amount of time it takes to complete your designs. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Autodesk Fusion 360 provides new component creation functionality while in the context of geometry creation features. This method doesn't force the end user to first be in the right environment or create a file and name it and then return to the modeling environment. You're able to do it right within the context of the command. Now not every part is going to have to be created in context. Many of your components are going to be reused between multiple assemblies. Grab a part or sub-assembly from your projects, move them into position or generate the relationship between moving components with a joint much the same way you might reference parts or assemblies in Inventor or SolidWorks today. Next, let's model another component. Again, referencing geometry between components is fluid and efficient, but what happens when you decide that this component really needs to be two parts that make up a subassembly? It's simply not an issue with Fusion 360. Make components at the point in the design that's most appropriate and the structure takes care of itself. And don't worry about placing features on components at the wrong level of an assembly. Even though this component wasn't set to active, Autodesk Fusion 360 associated the feature to the component automatically. Spend less time thinking about modeling and more time innovating with Autodesk Fusion 360. Let's go visit autodesk.com forward slash Fusion 360 and get started today.